The production function is Q equals K to the 0.4 times L to the 0.6. The wage rate is 838 and the cost of capital is 0 0.088. Suppose that capital is fixed at 909. What is the minimum cost of producing 22 units of output? Well, since the amount of capital is fixed at 909, our production function will look like this. We know we want to produce 22 units, so we plug in 22 for Q, and we know that capital is fixed at 909, so we can go ahead and plug in 909 for K. We can work this out, and we see that when we divide through by roughly 15 to both sides, we see that L to the 0.6 is equal to 1.4421058. Now we need to solve for L. To do this, we need to get rid of that exponent on the right. Well, anytime you want to get rid of an exponent on the right, you need to use your calculator, and you need to, solve, you need to raise both sides to the one divided by that number. In this case, it's 0.6, so we're going to raise both sides to the 1 divided by 0.6. On the right, this is just going to give us L, and on the left, we're going to plug that into our calculator to get 1.8407517. So this problem was different because we didn't have to use our equal bang for buck formula. We didn't have to maximize anything because we just, or, or minimize cost in this case, because we knew that capital was fixed. So we just needed to solve for the amount of labor we would use to get to those 22 units of output. So usually we have two variable inputs. Both capital and labor can change. This time, the only thing that could change was labor. The amount of capital was given to us. Now that we've solved for L, we can go ahead and plug it back into our total cost function because we know W and we know R, and we see that the minimum cost of producing those 22 units is $1,623.